Hey guys, it's Becky. I am here for Thrifty Thursdays number three. And today, I'm gonna be using this paper pad. I did already pick out some papers from it that I wanna use. And I'm gonna use a sketch as well. The items that we're using from your suggestions this week are punches, which was suggested by Phyllis Carter. And I pulled out this one. I like it. It's a um, like a pinwheel. It's a pinwheel punch. And then I also pulled out all these other ones because I love punches. I would often prefer to use punches more than I would prefer to use die cuts. I don't know why. It's just this thing I'm going through. Probably because I'm a newer scrapbooker, so tools are still really cool to me. Um, I think a lot of times after you've been doing it, doing something for a while, like maybe if you've been scrapbooking 20 years, die cuts might feel like a kind of newer thing to you, but I'm not there yet because, you know, I haven't been doing it that long. Then we had mini ink pads and that was suggested by Phyllis as well. So I did pick out this navy blue one from Kelly Perky. I did already start my layout and forgot to film, so uh, here we go. And then we also were suggested Brad's, and that was by Sharon Allen and Phyllis both. So I pulled out this little pack of Brad's. I'm probably going to use these deep, these deep brown ones that are small, and I'll show you why here in just one second. These are the papers you uh, I pulled out, and you can see I already have punched off of right here. These are the ones I'm going to do for this layout. And like I said, I also pulled out a sketch, but let me show you what I've done already. I punched this out. And because pinwheels, you fold them over, right? So two sides show. I'm using a paper pad that is single-sided. So I used my mini ink pad like this and kind of just went like this on the background. I'm also probably gonna do some stamping using my mini ink pad. I might pull a different color out. I, I haven't really decided on that. I might pull out a brown, but I did pull out a couple Felicity Jane stamps here if I do decide to do the stamping. Um, I only saw like one thing on each one of these that I thought I might wanna use. So that's what this is for. I'm going to fold these down. I'm probably going to fold it the with the navy blue on the inside. And then I'm going to, I'm just going to kind of curl it. I'm not really putting a crease in it. But when they all meet, I'm probably going to put, or I am going to put the brad through the center. Now the brads I have that are brown are really small. So that may or may not work. I might have to, um, use one of these white ones because they're a little bigger. I don't know if such a small brad will cover that, all the fold, all where they all, well, all the, where all of the sides overlap. I don't know if this, such a tiny one will um, cover it or not. We'll see how that goes. All right, so here's the sketch I'm gonna be using. I'll put it in the top right hand corner so you can see it throughout. This is a January sketch from Page Maps. I I'm going to use these photos, and I was thinking about finding a lighthouse and like paper piecing it, because you can see on this sketch there's this, like this bear here, bear here. <laughs> Word. I was thinking about finding a lighthouse and paper piecing it. If I do that, I'll probably do this same technique again to turn some of the pieces blue because these are the pieces I pulled out from that paper pad. I really wanted to use this one because this is fabric. It's like um, kind of like a canvas. When I first picked up that pad, there's two different styles of this uh, fabric paper in there and I was have been really wanting to use it. I'm gonna use this as the background. I'm gonna use this as this strip. I'm gonna use this. You've seen this on Mini Kit Mondays, I think last month, because um, I did pull from that paper pad for Mini Kit Monday last month. This I'm gonna use for this side, and this I'm going to use for this side. This is also what I used on these pinwheels. So let me go ahead and get started. I'm gonna put these pinwheels together, 
and then we'll see what I come up with. I'll be right back. That was a long introduction, was it not? Okay, I am going to go ahead and put these pinwheels together. I'm only showing you the first one that I'm going to do. And you just fold the corners over and make them the point of the corner you're folding over. You make it meet right in the center of that punch of the the cut that you have there. And then after you get them all to meet, I do like to glue mine down like what I'm doing here. Once you get them all to meet, then you just take your piercing tool, poke a hole in the center, and put your brad through there. Now, I really needed to use glue on this one because it's pretty small, and I wanted to make sure that even if perhaps when I put the piercing tool in it, perhaps it got on the edge of one of the corners, right? That's not really going to hold it with just a brad, so I did want to make sure I had some extra adhesive in there as well, just to kind of make sure it stays secure. Now, when you have the bigger pinwheels, of course, this one I used a punch, but if you have a bigger pinwheel punch or you maybe cut one out and make it yourself, you can make the tabs a little bit bigger so you don't have that problem. This size I love. It's perfect for me. It's not too big like what you might find in the die cut packs nowadays. It's not too big but it's not super super small. It's still easy to deal with and put together so I really do like the size of this one. I think I got this in a D stash. I don't even think the brand of that pinwheel punch is actually on the the punch itself. So here I am just cutting up my papers. I cut them at 10 inches. I think is one of them might be 10, 10 by six and the other one's 10 by three or something like that. And I also did cut off the strips of the navy blue. I really, really wanted that navy blue. On this sketch, you can see where that navy blue extends to the bottom and the top. I'm not gonna let it do that. I'm gonna kind of pull it back a little bit for some reason, that really bothers me. I'm super into borders lately. So if that extends to the top and bottom, it looks like there's nothing there, right? But if you pull it in a little bit, it kind of looks like there's a little bit of a border around it. And I, I'm just into borders lately for some reason. Right here, I am just going to go ahead and commit to this and stick it down. I will cut away and stick down all the rest of the papers as well. Okay, so right here, I didn't end up finding a lighthouse I liked when I went on Google and just looked at the images. So I did end up getting one off the Silhouette store and went ahead and cut it out. Right here, I'm turning this white cardstock into blue using that little mini ink pad. I am going to back up the cut file with that wood grain type paper that had the strips of wood on them that I used for the center joining strip on this background design. You can see the little lighthouse right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to outline or inline I guess the pieces that I want to use. I'm going to cut a little bit around my pencil mark, erase the pencil mark and then glue it on. This is such a small design that there's not really much room for a lot of error and you have to kind of cut just a little bit of outside your tracing line. Now I could have put this on the silhouette machine and went ahead and cut the insides that way but because of the paper I was going to use, that would have been way too difficult because I'm only using the light color of the wood grain on this striped wood grain plank paper right here. So that would have been pretty difficult for me, I think, to line up on the silhouette mat to get just right. I am also going to be backing my photos. I am backing my photos on the same paper that is over on the right hand side of the layout. As I said in the introduction, this week we are doing punches, brads, and mini ink pads. Um, if any of you guys have any other suggestions which you want us to put on the list of things to conquer, um, go ahead and put them down below. Make sure you go over to Leslie's channel and check out what she did. She did send me a picture of it, so I got a little sneak peek, and it is fabulous. Every, I mean, everything she touches is just awesome and her layout is really really nice I might even want to try and do something like that one of these days we'll wait and see we'll see what happens so I am gonna put this little die cut right here overlapping these photos I kind of didn't like the join how they were joined up together so I stuck the two smaller photos up underneath there 
and um, made sure that this lighthouse overlaps both both of the photos. Here I am taking my three pinwheels. I am going to put those down around the page. The one on the lighthouse is going to go more over toward the right hand side. Here I pull out another punch. I thought I would use this around the page, but I actually only use end up using one piece of it. Now I did take that punch and try to use it on that navy blue fabric canvas paper. Um, I spent about 30 minutes trying to unjam it. So my advice to you is do not do that. Okay, so I also took another piece of that navy blue canvas paper and I just fussy cut around the scallops in it. I am going to border that underneath that photo. And I'm also going to put one of those wood plank strips over the top of it. That's going to partially house my title when I pull it out right like there part of my title i'm just going to call it tybee lighthouse this is one day we went to tybee when um tiffany and kyron were here it's funny i haven't wrote my journaling yet but i will but when we got there and even when we were standing up on top of this lighthouse kyron was telling me that he's afraid of heights but if you see him in like the photo at the bottom with him and his mom he's not afraid of heights i think he's pulling my leg i'm not sure but he was saying i'm so scared <laughs> I think he was pulling my leg though. Anyways, so I'm just going to call this Tybee Lighthouse and Tybee's going to be partially on that lighthouse die cut and also on the photo and then lighthouse is going to be partially on that die cut and then house is going to extend across the wood plank piece that I put there. Up here at the top, I did stamp out from up here. <laughs> That's where I'm going to be writing about how he said he was afraid. Um, I did stamp it out and cut it into a banner. It's And I also popped it up on some foam tape. It's going to rest right there. And then that pinwheel is going to kind of sit, sit over part of it. Here's why I go ahead and pull out my title. Those are those Paige, Evan foam, Paige Evans foam stickers, the really small ones. I am getting to the point where I'm starting to use the navy ones. Um, I think I got three packs of those. And I used almost all of the whites of one pack. And now I'm starting in on the navy. Here's where I go ahead and pull out those brown brads. Now they're the same brads I used to put in the center of my pinwheels and I'm going to scatter those around the page as you would enamel dots. On the back side I do just put some washi tape down so it doesn't um, snag on the layout I'm putting on the other side of it when I slip them into the page protector. I did pull out some color shine here. I think this is either tea or bronze. I'm not really sure which one, but I do splatter around the page. Now I used a pencil to bounce it off of so they are fine splatters, but I did not cover my splatters up. So you can see, especially on that lighthouse photo with all that light blue, you can see all the splatters on that photo. I should have covered the photos up in this instance. I even got a little bit on Tiffany's head, but it's not on her face. It's I'm fine. It's gonna. It's just, that's just the way it's gonna stay. After I do that, guys, I don't do anything else to this layout. Remember to go check out Leslie's um, layout for this week. It is amazing. I love it. I can't wait to see the actual video on it. So hop over there and check her out. Leave us some suggestions down below if there's something you want to see us use. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.